So I'm joined by Alex after a rather disappointing and almost slightly baffling exit um, from the Premier Cup tonight against Brislington. Um, we didn't seem to quite turn up. Can you, can you, <laughs> you've got a handle on what happened tonight? I think first half we didn't turn up and we got punished for it. it was a, we said before the game, I wanted, I wanted a high tempo running game tonight. I thought that was where we would be able to hurt the opposition, but um, for whatever reason, a mixture of us being a bit sloppy, a bit slow, lethargic, maybe in the mindset, um, maybe physically, who knows, um, added to the opposition's game plan, which was superb on the night. They were really, yeah. really good. Uh, we just didn't get going, and I thought we got punished at key times. Um, we started well, actually. I think we started all right. And they, they hit us with a really good goal from them. We could look at it and say it's poor, but um, they scored, and it just gave them a lift, I thought. And it was about 15 minutes in and we were, say, playing fairly well up to that point. And um, you'd think either that's going to make us respond, but we didn't quite respond to it. No, and it, I think, the, look, such a cliche that goals change games. I hate saying it, but um, it just changed their mindset a little bit in terms of what they wanted to do. They um, they sat in their block and made it really, really difficult for us and forced us down sides that we didn't want to go. But we've got to be better than that. We, you know, when, when teams come and set traps against us, we've got to be clever enough. We've got to have problem solvers in the team who, who recognise what the opposition want to do and come up with answers for it. And I just felt like mm, some of the lads on the pitch in the first half didn't have those answers. We didn't want to find those answers. And like we got trapped too many times. Yeah. And then we got frustrated with ourselves. And um, look... And and then they score a great goal, great strike from the edge of the box. They score on the last kick of um, just before half time, which is the real sucker punch because that two goal lead then becomes really difficult to claw back. So psychologically as well, that's a that's a hard time to be hit, isn't it? Yeah, to go in with it is. And the boys needed a bit of a lift at half time, but we needed to come up with some answers. We were presented with some problems. Um, I don't think we've been two 0 down at half time at any point this season, no. um, and not really looking like scoring. So. We said we wanted to come out with more impetus, a bit more desire um, on the front foot. And I thought we were good to an extent, maybe apart from around the edge of the box. We certainly played a lot further in their half with a lot more intensity in the second half. Uh, they defended their box well. Um, whilst we were good until the until the 18-yard box with our build-up, we just lacked a bit of quality really today. Didn't have that killer pass, killer shot, good decision-making. We moved the ball much quicker in the second half, but yep. um, we just didn't really have an answer. I thought we tried a lot. We tr tried a lot of things, tried lots of different combinations, different ways of playing, but we just couldn't break them down. And uh, I, uh, whilst we had a go, I can't recall their keeper really making. No, it wasn't tested really many saves. So that's the disappointing element after what has been a couple of really good performances in front of goal um, dried up a little bit tonight. So look, it is disappointing, but. If there's positives I can take from it, is there's there's there are lessons to be learned moving forward, and it's all right. Just don't just write it off, but there's there's key um, there's key decisions that we've got to make when we're in that situation next time. So that we're, if we are two 0 down at half time, going going into the league run, uh, into the run in, then we know what we've got to do. Because we've got some tough games still coming up. Obviously, we've you know we've got the league leaders to play again um, yeah. coming up quite soon, and it's quite a tough run in. So it we're going to have to really be on our to keep our our position. Yeah. We're going to have to be on our toes, aren't we? Really? And it's going to go quick. It's yeah. going to go really, really quick. The games are going to pass us by um, before you know it. Will be April, and we're sort of right into the end. So we've got ourselves in a good position now, but we've got to. I think we'll do the basics better tonight. We'll basics weren't good enough, uh, and that's ultimately cost us the result. But each game's going to be a different challenge because there's a lot on them now. I yep. think we're no longer a surprise package to the teams around us. People know what we're about, um, how we like to play, and they'll have game plans for it, whereas maybe start of the season we we surprised a few. And we've got to come up with these answers. So we need those problem solvers in, in the side. We need those leaders to, to galvanise those younger players and the younger players to play um, off the leash and without fear that they can you know, go and solve that problem for us. It's going to be a, a united effort between now and the end of the season. I wanted to stay in this competition. I wanted to take it long um, all the way, but it wasn't to be. So now our sole focus is on the league yep. and what's going to be um, a really, really exciting run-in. So yep. we'll see where it takes us. Indeed. Thanks for your comments again. Thank Cheers, you. mate.